Today is just a little impromptu video. I received some plant mail today, and this is a plant that I've been wanting for quite a while now. I ordered it, I'd say, I think it was about, what, three or four days ago? No, maybe a week ago. My husband last is sitting weekend. right there. Last so weekend. last weekend, and I received it today, and today is Tuesday, so, like I said, I've been wanting this one for quite a while. And let's see what's in this box. There's my shady baby. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. Okay, guys. So, I've already started to open the box. So, this plant I received from an Etsy shop called Green Acres Nursery. Shady, you gotta get out of the way, buddy. You can't always be in my way, bud. You can't always be in my way. So, the box arrived in pretty good shape. A little dent on it, not anything serious. And I guess the cat's gotta check it out first. What is that, bud? Well, they're definitely tiny, but they look like they're in pretty good shape. Oh my goodness. Very pretty. All right, you guys, you know what this is? Or these are, what these are. I bought two of them and they are Hoya Australis Lisa. And this one doesn't look like it has a whole lot of variegation on it, but this one does. So I guess that's okay. If this one reverts, then I will just propagate these and I'll yeah, have myself sure. just a regular green Australis Lisa. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. So anyway, like I said, guys, just a short little video. Um, I'm super pleased about these. I was hoping that they would be a little bit bigger, but it's okay. I'm happy with them just the same, especially this one. Lots of variegation on this one. And this one is pretty as well. Like I said, if this one, if these leaves here don't produce any more variegated leaves this is the most recent leaf and it looks like this leaf here both of those are going to have a little bit of variegation so that's promising so anyway guys super happy with these hoya australis lisa yay finally have them in my collection yay so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some soil around and pick out a pot for these guys and we will pot these plants up together. So let me turn the camera around and we'll pot these guys up. So I figured we would take these out of these little nursery pots together and we'll check out the roots. And it definitely looks like they're recently potted up. There's not much of a root system here. If you guys can see that. Super delicate right now, for sure. But the roots do look okay. No black on those roots. So this one looks good. And this is the one that has less variegation. And then there's those two new leaves here. And they look like they are going to have a little bit of variegation on them. So that's good. So this is the first one. I'll set that one right here. And they are taped up pretty good. The first one took me a hot minute to get out of the pot, so. I 
Mm, let's see here. We're getting there. system on this one looks about the same as the other so pretty good and this one is very very pretty lots of variegation on these ones like I said kind of wish the plant was a little bit bigger I'm definitely happy that I ordered two of these guys so that I can put them together. Like that. Okay, let me get a pot and some soil and we will get to potting these babies up. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to put the plants in a small terracotta pot for now, only because the root system is not that developed yet and I want to make sure that we get some oxygen to the roots and since the terracotta pots are porous there's going to be more circulation of air to the roots. I do have a little pebble here that I'm going to put over the hole so that my soil doesn't fall out and let's see here I think I'm going to position the camera differently so that I can move my soil to the other side. Try not to make noise. My husband is putting away the dishes. I guess I can't complain, right? Uh -huh. See, he is putting them away. All right, just trying to get the camera positioned so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, let's see here. So my soil mixture is just my typical soil mixture that I always use. And it is about uh, two thirds of a regular potting soil mix and one third Amendments like perlite, orchid bark. I have some worm castings in here, and I also have some mosquito bits as well to keep the gnats away. So, a chunky, airy mixture is what I typically go for. in here like so let me see it's too much there so today as far as temperature here in New York how high did it get Brad today oh, as far as temperature this morning. Yeah, I think it topped out at what, like? I don't know what it's called. 65? Probably. I can't believe how different these leaves feel on this Hoya Australis Lisa. They're a lot softer than my other Hoyas. Very different. All right, so we have some leaves down here at the base. I'm gonna try to keep above the soil. So this was a nice surprise today. Um, we placed the order 
Brad said last week it was. Or so. It was, it may have been not this past weekend, the weekend before. No, it hasn't been that long, Brad. Look at your thing on your phone. I can't right now. I gotta do everything. Yep. I think it's been just about a week. And I had a feeling that it was going to be arriving today. I just had this feeling. Pretty. Very pretty. I have been wanting this plant since the beginning of time. Ever since I, gosh, I think it was like in the very beginning when I started really getting into the Hoyas. Not that I have a lot. I mean, I don't have a lot of Hoyas in my collection. They're just, they're really expensive. And even much more now since all of this COVID thing has been going on. Prices for Hoyas have shot through the roof, as with all plants, pretty much. Even a lot of the common house plants, I think, are more expensive now than they were before. Oh, well. Maybe that will end. Soon, probably not soon, it's probably gonna be a while. Prices for a lot of things I think are going to be inflated, unfortunately. But not much we can do about it, I guess. And right now, to be honest with you, I am kind of just picking and choosing plants that I really, really want to add to my collection. And over the last couple of, well, I'd say probably the last four weeks or so, the last month or so, I've actually passed some plants on to uh, friends, family. I've sold a couple, and I will probably do that with maybe a couple more plants. just so that I can make room for some other plants that I've been wanting for a while. So I think that looks nice. Okay guys, this is the Hoya Australis Lisa, all potted up in this cute little terracotta pot. So happy to have this one now. This is another one that I get to check off of my list. And I think it's super cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content of my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope you all are having a great week. I hope you've all had a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. What are you doing, bud? I can't hear you say the word. <laughs> <laughs> what, you want to go for a walk? What? Do you want to go?